go ahead and get started. Let's uh, discuss the fuel tanks of the B-17 Flying Fortress. The fuel tanks are considered self-sealing. So let's go ahead and break that down. The fuel tanks are carried in, in the wing. We did have an option to carry a fuel tank in the uh, weapons bay, but under a normal combat condition, uh, we would have fuel tanks in, in the wing box of the B-17. The fuel tanks would look something like this. Uh, the cross section of the skin is made up of six layers. The total thickness is about 0.3 inches thick. These fuel tanks were manufactured by either Goodyear or US Rubber Company. Let's take a look at the cross section of the fuel tank skin. Let's take a look at those six layers. And let's start on the fuel side. The fuel side, the first layer is uh, about 0.045 inches thick of a nitrile rubber. Nitrile rubber is a synthetic rubber and uh, it is used against the fuel side because it is uh, virtually immune to any petroleum products, either oil and or gasoline. Next to this layer, we have a nylon barrier, very thin. Next to this layer, we have a gooey material, which is a rubber sealant. Think of it as like a, a tire slime. Next to this layer is a small or thin layer of rayon. Next to this layer is another layer of uh, rubber sealant, that gooey material. And then on the air side, the exposed side that we see here, it's a layer of nitrile rubber that has an abrasion resistant fabric covering over the surface. And you can see these gentlemen, uh, the tanks are collapsible um, so we can you know, get them in and out of these cavities if they have damage and we can repair them. So let's go ahead and discuss the um, sequence when we breach this fuel tank. What happens when a piece of shrapnel, flak, or a bullet goes through this fuel tank? So uh, we're gonna induce a hole, and that hole is made by the diameter of the bullet. Then the rubber sealant is gonna make contact with the fuel because the, the, there's a pressure head in this fuel tank and the fuel is gonna to wanna to come out of that hole that was just created. It's gonna make contact with this rubber sealant. The rubber sealant is going to expand. It's gonna fill that hole. It's going to terminate that fuel leak. British, American, and German fighters and bombers had self-sealing fuel tanks. The uh, Imperial Japanese Navy and Army on their early version of fighters anyway, did not use self-sealing fuel tank. And in hindsight, that was probably a big mistake given the kill ratio of our, our naval aviators and, and B-29 bomber gunners against those uh, Japanese interceptors. Um, that also gets into play as far as the ammo mixes that were used. So if you take a look at the B-29 Super Fortress, all of their uh, ammo for their guns were armor-piercing incendiary rounds. They use incendiary rounds to breach the fuel tank uh, and and catch their uh, airplanes on fire. So that was that was a, a big issue. If you like this video and you want to see more, let me know. Any particular topic, uh, put put that information in the comments, and I'll see if I can accommodate. Thank you.